Hi everyone, meteorologist Joe Chaffee on this Friday morning. We're going to take a look at the tropics. Don't forget uh, to uh, stay tuned to all the local severe weather that might or might not develop uh, over the weekend with SNS Storm Chasers and on meteorologistjoechaffee.com. Now, we've got Tropical Storm Fiona, which is right here. You can see it on the satellite loop this morning. It hasn't really changed too much, uh, moving uh, toward the northwest at a bit of a faster clip than it was yesterday. You still have this upper low that's sitting right here, so it's going to be uh, moving into an unfavorable environment soon. Uh, we'll see whether it holds together or not. And right here to the south and west of to the south and east of Fiona is a strong tropical wave uh, that is moving westward. And this actually, a lot of the models uh, are quite bullish with this. So we're going to take a look at and see um, what it's all going to mean. Uh, the first thing is I want to look at is the this is the uh, one of the hurricane models, the uh, hurricane WRF uh, model, and this actually did pretty well with uh, Earl. So I, that's why I kind of want to pay attention to it a little bit. And there, this actually has this as a well. We'll see if this is correct. Um, it seems a little overly aggressive and a little too fast, but it does have this as a tropical storm by uh, Saturday night, early Sunday morning, and it actually deepens this to a major hurricane uh, even before it gets to the uh, windward of the Leeward Islands. So this is next Wednesday. It has a fairly deep hurricane here approaching the, Lee, uh, the northern windwards of southern Leeward Islands. We'll see if that's the case. Uh, to the north, we can probably make out let me see if that's Fiona or not and I'm gonna say that it probably is um, but this is Fiona on this model here which because it's a weaker system it's taking more of a westerly track but it stays pretty weak and is almost it's almost gone by the time we get to um, the early early to the middle part of next week so this is um, going to be for pretty interesting to see uh, just when we look at the global models, of course, the uh, GFS uh, being uh, the most bullish of all of them down the road. I'm going to go to another region so you can see the whole wide view um, of the tropical Atlantic so it shows up better. And here it is. Uh, this is the new one, the one, the one I, the, the one I just showed you on the HWRF. Here, so here's Fiona right there, and you can see how it just kind of dissipates. It really is a non-factor. This one now is heading for the leeward and windwards. It's not as deep as the HWRF model, uh, but over time it does become um, a, a pretty interesting storm, and it becomes a hurricane. Uh, it takes it to the just east of the Bahamas, and of course, you know, from here, you know, we're now at day 10, so who knows? Um, what's interesting to me is when I look at the uh, 500, when I look at the upper air on all of this, um, I'm going to punch it up. Where is it? There we go. This is the upper air on uh, the on the GFS, and you can see the reflection of the uh, hurricane is right here. When we look at the uh, European, it's not quite different. It's a little different. It has a trough already uh, moving along uh, along uh, it east of 80 in the northern uh, stream, and it would imply that if there was anything out here, it would probably turn away to the northeast. The interesting thing about the European is that it doesn't really do very much uh, with this uh, particular weather system, the one that uh, it, uh, that everybody wants to make guests on. Um, doesn't really do very much with this. And the Canadian model today um, has it much further out, uh, even though it does have this troughing out to the west. But, you know, it's not the most ideal upper air uh, at all. The uh, GFS upper air is a little different because... It, it, it builds a ridge up to the north as this trough pulls out, so it never really gets caught by that. And then you have a second trough that comes down and sort of lifts it up. Now, who knows? Again, this is all in the theoretical. I really, there's no value in this other than, you know, you can kind of hand draw your own map to make it come out the way you want. So um, I think the takeaway is that we're entering in, into a, a very bullish phase of uh, tropical storm season for the next couple of weeks. And uh, we're going to watch to see what happens with the development of this second system that's south of the Cape Verde Islands and moving westward. Um, and don't forget, you can get all the latest 
um, severe weather information uh, and uh, local weather information, uh, snsstormchasers.com and meteorologistjoechoppy.com. And if you're on Long Island, weatherlongisland.com.